No, here we go, ready? We're gonna stay silent for like a couple seconds, and then we're gonna have to use telepathy to tell each other when we're about to say we're back, and then we have to say it at the same time, right? Very predictable, I saw that coming. We're back! Dude. It didn't work? No. So you, should we just not went, film this video? You went at the wrong time. So we just not tell it. You went at the wrong time. Wait, I gotta tell you when to go. You listen right, to me. Kirsten, you're not I don't think you're trying to communicate enough. Fingers on the temple, okay. brain waves in the air. They are. Okay, ready? We're, We're back! back. <laughs> I'm actually freaked out. Why? Because we just said it at the same time without even discussing about how we're going to say it at the same time. You, bro. Telepathically, I told you to. Guys, I think we're telepathic. I don't even think, I kind of know. I have, I have a strong itch. Where? Not like that, we're telepathic. Why also, I have, itching, I have a mosquito bite on my shin. Telepathy is the supposed communication of thoughts or ideas by means other than the known senses. Here's the thing, we basically think that we have a sixth sense and that is communicating with our brains only. By ways of twin. I don't think I'm telepathic in the way that I could make stuff move. That's telekinesis. I don't think I'm telepathic in the way that, you know, I can talk to everybody or read minds or anything like that, but I can definitely communicate with Ethan. I'm not even kidding, we're making this video because lately, some sh it's been happening. Some stuff has been going on where I feel like we have a little bit of twin telepathy. I think a lot of it. And after these things have occurred recently, I started to look back on it and I thought of some other like stories and reasons why I think that we are telepathic twins. And I didn't I didn't really realize this until one of my friends pointed it out to me. We were online to order food at a restaurant and Grayson was like, yo, I'm gonna run to the bathroom, just order for me. And as I was ordering for him, I realized I wasn't even ordering the same thing that I was getting. And we had never been to this restaurant ever before either. I just had a feeling like I knew deep down what Grayson wanted to eat in that moment. And my friend was like, wait, he just trusts you to order for him like that? And then I was like, wait a second, you're right, that, that is kind of weird. And now some may argue, oh, but you guys are just twins and best friends so you would just know exactly what he wanted. But no, it goes deeper than that because this was something that I've never ordered before, but I promise you, I was thinking that I wanted. Like I wasn't just like, oh, like, I'm fine with this. I was like, hmm, I wanna try that this time. But I was in the bathroom and I couldn't tell Ethan because there's no service in there. We realized after that, that we do this like almost every other day. Like, I'll send Grayson out to get food and he'll just come back with something that he knows I would want. When I order ice cream, I'll get Grayson a different flavor that like I know he wants. It's just, it's weird, alright? It's right? weird to think that we had the same brain and then it split in half. And now, this could be, yeah, okay, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, wait, that could be a reason. You just like, what it was that sound? That just... Hang on. Yeah, identical twins were once one little bee and then they split into two. But I don't think you have a brain yet. You don't have a brain before you split. I hope that we don't. Then we both have half a brain. Do you have a finger at least? No, you don't have anything. You're just a goop. Do you split it at goop level? Or do you split yeah. it at a fetile level? You're just a yolk. <laughs> and then you split. <laughs> okay. I don't think of your brain when you're a yolk. And something else happened. Something else that this give you the chill. This is fucking weird. This is, this is actually really weird. Okay. Not gonna lie. I was like, yo, what the f Bro, we're telepathic. So you guys, if you've seen the video where we got each other Coachella outfits, you saw how... I don't do that when you're speaking. We got each other outfits and that, that looked like it was about it. You think I'm a sh one and I got him a really nice one. <laughs> While we were out shopping, we did a little bit of shopping for ourselves that day as well, just off camera, like behind the scenes. By accident. And By accident, yeah. We never told each other what stores we were going to. And we ended up shopping for ourselves by accident at the same store. Yeah. This is a store, it's called Louis Vuitton. It has three levels of it. So there's a lot, a lot of clothes to choose from in there. We both went to the third level and picked out a shirt. I know you guys are thinking, oh, okay, like whatever, you know, there's just shirts on that level. No, the shirt's all over the place. And here's the thing. I saw this one shirt. If you guys remember, I put it on in the video. I was kind of iffy about it, but then something was telling me like, yo, you need this shirt. It was weird. I called Grayson on the way home and I was like, yo, I, I got this shirt and I'm wearing it on day two for Coachella. But when he said that to me, I said, you know, e, that's, that's kind of funny because I got this shirt that's really sick and I'm wearing it on day two of Coachella, I've decided. So then we revealed our shirts to each other at the same time and realized that we got two shirts from the same collection out of the entire store. I picked out this shirt, and then when Ethan went back in, something drew him to the corner of that store, and he didn't know why, to get the shirt from the same I'm collection, to wear on the same day as me, which was completely unplanned, and we wanted to call <gasps> the outfits and be all cool at Coachella. We 
correlated outfits by accident. Telepathically. Telepathically. And I'm not even kidding. I know it sounds dramatic, but there was something that came over me that said, like, you need to get this shirt, you think? I've told people that story and they think it's crazy. Maybe you don't. I think it's a cool story. I think it's a cool story. I think it's, I think it's crazy. I think it just get, makes the goose stand up on my bumps. As all this stuff was happening, I was like, maybe it's just coincidences are happening a lot in our lives lately. So I started to think back, and I remember this one story. When we were little, Grayson, like, decided to run away. You know when little kids sometimes, I don't know. If I vividly remember Grayson running out of our driveway onto the street and making a right and, like, running. I was just like, you know, he'll come back. It's like, whatever, you know. He's not gonna run away. He was trying to, like, make everybody worry, trying to make, like, our babysitter worried and my sister worried. I was, I was such a good kid. Yeah, you were a great kid. <laughs> I was like, he'll come back. He'll come back, whatever. And then he didn't come back. And then, like, my babysitter started getting worried and stuff. I was like, you know what? I'll find him. Don't worry. Literally, the first place I went to I was just curled up in a little ball on the ground under some leaves. Literally. So he went out of the driveway, made a right, and for some reason, I knew it. I went over to these trees, and I didn't see Grayson until I got to the spot that I knew he would be at. Because I was under the leaves. Here's the thing. That wasn't a spot that we ever went to. It's weird, dude. I swear. I swear we have that, like, thing. Like, if you left right now, I feel like I could find you in 10 minutes. You couldn't run away from me. That's what we're gonna test out. So here are the tests that we're gonna do based on these stories to test our theory that we are telepathic twins. Test number one, the ordering food story. We're gonna be ordering each other food from a restaurant restaurant that we've never been to. One of us will walk into the store, view the menu, pick out what he wants, walk out of the store. Then I will enter the store, do the exact same thing. Then Ethan will re-enter, order what he thinks I picked off the menu. So I'm going to send my brain to his brain, then down to his stomach, then back up to my brain. Test number two. So we're going to go into a full art gallery with a bunch of pieces and exhibits. Tell the camera which one that we would like to purchase and do the same kind of thing. Send the other person in and feel what art piece was speaking to us. Test number Number three, testing the theory that I know where Grayson will be if he runs away. So we're gonna go to a hiking trail that has many turns and divots and dips and paths. paths. And Grayson's gonna go down and he's gonna make five turns. You know, you're gonna be able to go any which way. Then I'm gonna start on the same path and make five turns from there and see if I end up in the same spot as Grayson. And for the last and ultimate test, Grayson and I have never been separated in our lives. We are gonna test that if we got something were to happen and we were to be lost without technology and separated from each other, would we be able to find each other through Telepathy. Telepathy. Get in our cars, go separate ways, and then go to one spot that we feel the other person would want to meet at. And yeah, pretty much that's how we're going to test our telepathy today. Let's get to it. This is test number one. This is to test our food story. Alright, so the menus are right here. Let's check it out. This menu is so big. It's going to be hard for us to do this unless we're actually telepathic. There's a lot of a lot of options to choose from. I think I am going to get the breakfast burrito. I'm definitely in the mood for a breakfast burrito with no dairy. All right, I made my decision. So, think of what I want. Where's the menu at? This place is nice. Okay, let me pick. Uh, all right, so I'm thinking about getting the egg bowl. The bowl with eggs. <laughs> All right, that was uh, pretty simple. All right, now I'm gonna go get Ethan so he can order for me and hopefully get me what I wanted. All right, time to order for Gray. All right, let's see what I think he wants. Oh my God, there's fucking pancakes. You know what he likes? Grayson does like eggs Benedict, and I feel like he might be in that kind of mood right now. But also avocado toast. But he also likes pancakes. And you know, he, he does eat a lot of paninis here and there. I feel like Grayson's in the eggs benedict. Mm. I don't know. Or avocado toast. Okay, something is telling me last minute that I need to switch to avocado toast. I don't know. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, I'm gonna get the um, avocado toast. No, but you want any eggs added to that? I'll add eggs, yeah. I'll add, I'll add eggs too. Alright, I made my decision for Grayson and I put the order in. Alright, great. You better give me what I want, bro. Grayson, let's see me. All right. I don't, I don't know if I heard it. No, no, I did. I heard it. All right, I think I know what he wants. So I, I, I'm thinking that he wants the Spanish rice, but I got to check if it's dairy free. And I don't think he wants the green, the, the little, the little greens in it. I hope I'm right. I feel, I feel like I feel like I got to. 
How you doing, man? Can I get the Spanish rice? And I just have a question. Is there the ranchero sauce, does that have dairy in it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Mm. Do you think without you it, it on the side maybe? Do you think without it it would like be ruined or no? Yeah. I actually had it this morning with no rice. With no? So good because the rice is nice. And okay, can I have no ranchero sauce? Yeah. Speaking of dairy items, you didn't get me any fucking dairy, right? No, I didn't get you dairy. Alright, good. Because I fuck, I told you, don't give me dairy. I didn't. All right, Grayson, I think I saw your food behind you. Know, look at it. I think it's arriving. We're here. Here we go. Thank you. My pleasure. So, um, it has eggs on it. What did you want? The egg bowl, bro. Oh. You were close with the eggs, though. Well, I really thought I was going to get that one. This right here? All right. Thank you. Pleasure. Did you get it? Spanish rice. I didn't. But here's the thing, dude. Are we, we're both kind of on track. What did you want? I got a breakfast burrito, which has rice, beans, and is... I should have known you were thinking about the breakfast burrito. Look at you. Spanish rice with pico de... It has everything. It has all of the burrito ingredients on this without the burrito wrap. You are like 70% telepathic with this. It literally has all the same ingredients, but just without... <laughs> Like, dude, a burrito? I feel, like, I feel like that didn't really go so well. It's like the same thing, Luke. And then the eggs? Avocado egg, toast with eggs. That freaked me out because I've never gotten eggs. We've never, never gotten eggs on the avocado toast, ever. I think we're warming up our telepathy. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely telepathy. <laughs> it better work with the next one because the art piece is like a big investment. Yeah, it's like a permanent installment in our rooms. Yeah, and also a, a big investment. All right, so we are here at the art gallery, the first art gallery of the day. So this is test number two, testing the theory about the shirts. Having the same taste in things such as art. Having inanimate art objects speak to us. Here with the artist Wyatt Giuseppe. What's up, guys? First, I think we're gonna have Ethan walk through and pick out a piece that what speaks to you the most. Yeah, a lot of these are looking like they're speaking to me though. Okay. It's gonna be a tough one. All right. And I'll have a look. <laughs> these are all insane. Let's start over here on the left side, I guess. That one's so cool. Like Loki, this is something that I would get like tattooed. This is really cool. I really like the colors in this one. I like how this is like. Like the little uh, exclamation point up there. I like how this is like negative. This is really cool. I like the dark one a lot. It's kind of like my tattoo vibes, you know? These are really cool. So you have series. I like the lightning bolt on that one. I actually have a tattoo like that. I don't know. I actually feel like one is kind of speaking to me. The one over there. I think this one. You know what? And the pink would go with my pink wall in my room. The yellow one's really cool too. It's so hard to decide. And she does like, it's a very energetic piece. I feel like it would wake me up when I look at it. I think this is the one that I'm gonna go with. This is the one that's speaking to me the most, for sure. Someone's going to get Grayson right now. He was out of the room so he couldn't hear anything. All right, here he is. Grayson. You, you really have to think about this one, okay? Let it speak to you. That's well, what I do. These are all insane. Like, pause for a second. Let's really actually try to have like telepathy here because I really need okay. this piece. We even put our heads together. Dude, I don't want to let this piece go. It's like the sickest thing. Go, it's like the sickest thing. Go, it's like the sickest thing I've ever seen. All right, now, I don't, I don't think we have to put our heads together. Okay. Really think about this one. I will. Let it speak to you like the shirt. Mm. I'm, I'm really digging deep here and like seeing if I could feel like anything that I'm getting from Ethan and <laughs> I don't really feel shit right now. That one's awesome. See, I, I'm really into that one. I feel like my path from Ethan is this way. This is the general area I need to be in. Uh, you know, dude, I just have a, I have a feeling that it's this one right here. Like, like a strong feeling that it's this one right here that he picked. It, it's not just like I think, like I, I feel like I know that it's that one. I'm gonna look really stupid if I'm wrong, but I wanna say it's the pink cheetah. That's my choice. Okay. I don't think you should tell me. We should wrap up here and then you take it and keep it hidden for me until you hang it up on my wall in the house and have it revealed to me there. Okay. Then once we get back home, I'll hang it up. Still hang mine up and then we'll reveal it to each other. Once it's up permanently in the room. Dude, I, I could feel it. It's definitely the one. Yeah, you might be way too overconfident right now and you're gonna be 
I don't know, bro. It's, it's like a strong thing. Is it? Not even lying, yeah. Is it something that you would get, or is it just something that you feel like I would? No, it's something that I feel that you would want. Right so like if you were to get something here, it's not the same one as me. No. All right, Ethan, put the blindfold on. All right, I'm gonna get blindfolded while Grayson takes the piece off the wall. Please be the right one. Hey, cover your ears a little bit so you don't know where we're at. Okay. He's gonna put it in the trunk without me seeing. Does it feel like the right piece? The suspense. I have to wait till I get home. Does it feel like I got the right piece? I'm actually like, squeezing my ears so hard that I can't hear anything, so. Ethan. Listen. Oh, what, what's up? Does you just feel like I got the right piece? You got it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really feel anything. I just felt you kicked me in the back. Shout out to Wyatt. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in your art gallery. You have some amazing work in here. Thank if you guys you. want to check out Wyatt's stuff, his links to his art will be in the description below. Thank you so much, Wyatt. Everything looks amazing. I can re remember what it looks like and I can see it in my head right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guide me out of the curtain, Gray. And then you and then you go down and put it in the car. And then here's the keys so you can do that. All right, just wherever the curtain is. So we're gonna stop at the house real quick and Grayson is gonna drop my piece off. And then we're gonna head to the next art gallery where I'm gonna pick up a piece for Grayson. We're here in Daniel Maltzman's private art gallery. Surrounded by a bunch of amazing art pieces. Thanks for coming, buddy. Good Thank you see you guys. guys. It's been a while. So right here on the wall, are these kind of the paintings that we have to choose from? Yeah, that's what you got. All right, awesome. Gray, think hard. I'll, tr I'll try to read your brain. <laughs> okay. Make your decision, and then I'll come back in and pull the trigger for you. Hopefully, right. on the right piece. Wow. All right. These are insane. Whoa. All the different textures and colors. All right. So for me, the decision is going to be hard already. I mean, all of these are catching my eye, but there's one over there that I'm that I'm leaning towards, I believe. Here, what do you That's call what this I one? That's what I thought, man. Melting. She's the melter. The melter, okay. It looks like she's melting away. And it's yeah. got all kinds of really interesting inks and paints and oils and acrylics and nice real thick layering to it, but it's also very black and white and simple. I love that. How yeah. much do your paintings normally go for? They usually run between like twenty-five and fifty thousand dollars. A big investment, Ethan. All right, I think I've made my decision on the painting. Okay. Let's see what he says. I'm gonna send him telepathic waves right now so that he knows to pick the melter. Let's hope that Ethan picks he better. the right painting for me. You better, you better, you better feel what I'm telling you, all right? You got it? Dude, you're putting the pressure There's on There's a me. word I'm gonna send to your head. All right, I sent it. I don't know if this is actually. Right to get shit. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, right away, this one is really cool to me. But I have to remember that this is Grayson. It's what speaks to Grayson, not me. The car. The rolls. The rolls. <laughs> Grayson's very in love with his car though, so I'm not sure if he would, you know, like like another car. I don't know, it just gives me Grayson Grayson vibes, but this one's really cool. I like this one a lot. But I don't know if like I like it or if like Grayson likes it, you know what I mean? Oh gosh, all right, let's I think we need to I think I need to stand back. Make sure I'm making the right decision. I think I gotta do it. I'm almost confident about it for some reason. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do this one. I think this is the one. Say so we take it off the wall and get it in the trunk without Grayson seeing, do the reveal at the house. Even if this isn't the one he picked, this is the one he should have picked, so. Honestly, can I, should I be closing my eyes right now? I mean, you can just, you can just walk in the neighborhood. Like, this has to be the right one. Dude, I just, I just know you. Oh, yeah. I feel you. Just look at the painting. Yes! That's the, you don't have to tell me, you already told me, bro. How, how do you, how do you know? Cause dude, that deserves a hug, dude. I had big doubts that you got the right painting for me. You better have listened to me when I was telling you, like when I was going like that. You better have listened to me. You were doing that? Yeah, we were doing it together. What do you mean? Did you remember? Look. Okay. Bro, we had one brain. It split into two. Um, yeah, it's a little crooked. Bro, what did you... All right, cool. That wasn't me, that was you. Let's get an instant replay. Alright, I have Grayson's painting right here as soon as you walk in the room. And it hung it pretty evenly. It looks very nice. I think this is, now that I'm seeing like Grayson's vibes and stuff, and you know, this is very him. At least if I didn't, it's still really cool. There, there's a lot on the line. I can't be the one who's not telepathic. If he got me the right thing, I need to get him the right thing or else I look like a fraud. Alright Grayson, I'm gonna close the door, and then you stand there, and then I open the door, and then you'll see it. Okay. Alright, I'm standing here. Bro, please be the right one. You better have listened to my waves, bro. 
Oh! Thank God! Yes, you got it, you got it, dude. Bro, that's the one? Yeah. We're telepathic. Holy sh Okay, that's tripping me out right now. We're telepathic, bro. But I don't like this now because you can read my mind a little bit. And I don't want you to know what I'm thinking all the time. But dude, you got it! Dude, I got it! Hell yeah! But literally the shirt thing, and now this. Now this is crazy. We're onto something, dude. I think we're getting superpowers. Are you sure this is the one? Yeah, this is the one, dude. I even like the textures. I was petting it and stuff like when I was in the studio. Well, now you can pet it in your bedroom every day because I got the one with my dude. telepathic powers. Dude, we did it. Telepathic powers. Thank you to Daniel Malsman for this artwork. If you guys want to see more of his stuff, his Instagram link will be in the description. I, I'm feel I'm feeling the next test. I think I think it's gonna work. That it's gonna be way harder though. Okay, so the tests are progressively getting more and more intense and harder. We're progressively getting we're better, better and better, better at more telepathic. At we're literally 100% telepathic with this test. Yeah, 100%. Here's the thing. If this next test works, I'm gonna be really weirded out. Here we are, back in the wilderness. So Grayson is going to proceed down this hiking trail. But I'm gonna go walk down the trail, take five turns, and hide in the spot wherever no, you're I- you're hiding, you're just standing. And stand in the spot wherever I land. After that, I'm gonna use telepathy to trace Grayson's trails and find where he went. As you can see, there's no way I'm gonna see Grayson from here. Try to come find me after I make five turns. All right, Gray. All right, so I've arrived at my first turn. I could turn there, I could go straight. All right, so turn one, I'm gonna be making a left. All right, he's gone. I guess I'll just wait. Like, what? Should I give him like five minutes and then go look for him? What? How, how many? How many turns do you think he does per minute? One turn per minute. This looks like a dog path, and then this is like the human path. But I'm gonna do the dog path, of course. You might need four legs for this. So that was a right turn down the dog path. So I can use another three turns. I hope he can find me because I don't think I have service anymore. I don't want to get lost in here. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna find him. Oh, the lizard scared me. I just go in a circle. How come I don't know where I am? All right, now I'm at another path. I'm gonna choose to make a right for my third turn. And for my fourth turn, I'm gonna make another right. And now I have one more turn. I could either stay straight, I can make this left. This left looks kind of fun though. I gotta duck this tree. I think I'm gonna make the left for my last turn. Again, I believe this is a dog path. All right, here's where I ended up. I don't even know what turns I just made. But if Ethan can find me here, that's telepathy. I think I'm gonna head out and try to find him. He's definitely lost. Pulling up to our first crossroads. Oh great, it looks even more confusing this way. Okay, so first turn, I took a left. Not really, not really feeling anything. Oh God, look at this. Do I go straight or do I make a right? I know, Grayson, he's outdoorsy. I mean, look at that. Uh, I took a right for my second turn. Oh, yeah. He definitely came down this way. Oh, my gosh. It's windy. I think he's getting closer because I hear him now. I'm, like, really far down here, guys. Even the fact that I hear him uh, means that he made, like, enough of right turns to get close to me. I'm in a pickle right now. There's a left, then there's a right. I'm going to go ahead and say right for my third turn. All right, I'm going for the right. That's my third turn. Grace is also pretty bad at like counting and stuff, so maybe, I wonder if he made too many turns already. I really hope he finds me. He definitely probably did that. All right, Grayson, where are you? For my fourth, my second to final turn. Yo, he's getting close, dude. I, fe I feel him right here. I think I'm gonna say left. I don't know, fourth turn, I'm saying left. Maybe if I just have confidence, it'll work. I'm just gonna proceed. I'm gonna make my final turn with no hesitation. God, yeah, okay. Yeah, good luck, Ethan. It's like nine turns in one. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. My fifth turn, I'm gonna say left. If he's over there, if I have confidence, he'll be there. He's gonna be there. I don't think he's coming down the path I came down. Oh! Please! Shit! No! I'm f***ing done, dude, no! What the f***? Five turns, you counted five turns. Five turns, turns bro! No! In a way. No way. You saw how many ways I could have gone. I'm freaking out. Guys, I swear to you, this was 1000% real. We are more than just twins, bro. That's f***ed up. Guys, you guys just bro. saw that. I'm f***ing sweating right now. This was the end of my last turn. This was the end of my last turn right here. I literally said, I'm like, as soon as I have confidence that he's gonna be there, he's just gonna it's be there. It's the confidence, so you can't, you can't question the telepathy. You have to just go for you it. You just have to go for it. Should we try to take this to the next step? I mean, that's what we had planned for the video already, Grayson. All right, well, I was trying to be like epic and stuff. All right, hopefully you can find me and I can find you. Nice car, douchebag. Later. And we are going separate ways. Mm. Where are we 
Where would he go? At least if I kind of end up in like the same general location as him, I'll be able to point him out because he does have a flashy douchebag car, so that'll be helpful. So I've been driving for about 10 plus minutes in the opposite direction as Ethan. Hopefully we go to the same place. That would be so weird if we went to the same place. We've done some pretty telepathic sh today, guys. Like, he found me in the middle of the woods in a maze. Wait a second. I low-key got an idea. Why do I feel something about this one right now? Okay, okay. Maybe it's just because it's the first idea and the only idea that came to my head uh, during the segment. But I think I might be onto something. So one time, actually two times this has happened. Grayson and I were coming home from a dinner at night. And we took this one road home, and it's kind of like a secluded area, and I had to pee really bad. So we had to pull over off this like one like off-road, like dead-end area, and I had to run behind a bush and pee. And then another time, we were coming home on the same road, and it just so happened that Grayson had to pee really bad. So we went to the dead end, and then he found a bush to pee behind. And I don't know if it's because I have to pee a little bit, or if it's because Grayson might be thinking about going there too. I kind of think because this was an impulsive idea, and it like just hit me, that he might have the same one too. That might mean something. I have no idea how this is gonna go. We could really be anywhere. I should have cheated a little bit and gave Grayson like three water bottles, so he'd have to pee really bad. The street is right here. This is the moment of truth. Why do I have a feeling that he's actually gonna be there? If I round this corner and he's there, oh my god. Oh no, that's not him. I thought that was him for a second. While I'm here, it's just a porta potty. That's the bush that I peed behind. I thought that was his car for a second. He could still possibly show up. Maybe he's just not here yet. All right, I'm pulling up here. It's like this overlook thing in a parking lot. We may have been here before, but just once. All right, I'm calling in moment of truth. Yo. Hello? Moment of truth, Dre. Are you at your meeting location? Yeah, I've been here for like 15 minutes. Oh. You're not here. Yeah, you're not here either. Oh. oh. Clearly. Where are you? I'm at the, uh, the parking lot on the overlook. On the canyon. Remember to the Instagram photo by my car? No. A long time ago, you were pretending my car was your car. I don't think I was ever doing that. I have, I have received it. Okay, well. You remember that one time that we were driving home in the canyon? And, and I had to pee, so we pulled over to pee. And then we were driving home again, and you had to pee, and then we pulled over, and it happened to be the same spot. We both peed in the same spot at different times. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm there. And they actually added a porta potty. That's a weird. Do you think they did that for us? Maybe. And the porta potty is the same color as your car, so I kind of thought it was you at first. I got really excited. It's kind of a weird place to go. See, the thing about Ethan is he does weird things like that. Like, he went somewhere where, like, I obviously wouldn't be. Well, that was an anticlimactic ending. Um, in conclusion, uh, we have no idea what the f*** we are. Yeah, in conclusion, um, are we telepathic? Who the f*** knows? <laughs> Bro, I have no idea. Because sometimes we really are, but I think the pressure of the camera kind of like takes it all. What about when I found you in the trail? I know, I don't get it. I think we're more telepathic than any other duo out there. Here's the thing, I could be telepathic and maybe you aren't. Because anything- no, I no, definitely no, am. No, because when I went to look for you, I was able to find you. If you just stay put and let me do my thing, I think I'm the one with the superpower. Mm -mm. You went to the weirdest spot ever. You like thought about it too much. About like, we repeat it. The, the, well actually it like the thought hit me and I was like, oh my God, this is the genius. And That's I thought, what I felt too. So maybe we just overthought it. I thought you gave me the thought. I think it's like a natural scent. Yeah, sense. Sense. I mean, you can't force it. Or, but we did force it. Guys, we don't know if we're telepathic. We have no idea. Honestly, if you guys think that we are, comment down below, yes, I think so. Yeah. If you don't, comment, no, I don't think so. But no matter what you think, like this video. <laughs> and also, uh, subscribe because we tested out if we're telepathic or not, and that's kind of... We'd really appreciate cool. if you subscribe. Yeah, it would help us out a lot. So if you guys could take like three seconds right now to subscribe, and if you don't want to, I'm gonna make you right now. Also, if you want it while you're at it, Hit the little notification button. We will give you a shout out 
in next week's video, possibly if you tweet us a screenshot that you put our notifications on, just like we're about to shout out Christina. Christina, thank you so much for having your post notifications on. Also, the bloopers of this video will be coming out on Friday. If you want to see those, you can become a channel member by subscribing to us and then clicking the button that says join. This little button right channel. here. Just click it up. Looks like that. Sign up do it if you want. And you can see bloopers. We post those on there. Anyway, we don't know if we're telepathic or not. So I feel like we kind of are though. I was really shocked at the, at the, the trail thing really me up. When yeah. I saw you crouching there, that was weird. I got Dude, scared. There's some, in some ways, we definitely are telepathic. Lately, it's becoming more and more. Yeah, I wonder if like one day we'll eventually evolve to be completely telepathic and, where we can and hear each other it. in each other's minds. I really hope the f not. Let's try it right now. Let's do one last test and see if we can, in, we can, we can say this piece in sync. Pe peace. Everybody go to last week's video. Pop, pop, a pop a click on those end cards you see right there. On the subscribe button. Check out last week's video or subscribe. And we have some merch link in the bio. We have some of the merch link that's in the bio. It's so good merch. Super out, friend. <laughs>